Uh, Lukanen will not. Um, Darlene will. Uh, we, we looked into that further, and uh, good news there. So he will. Connor uh, Clifton mentioned to us that he's just frustrated with his game. He feels like he hasn't gotten to it yet. I mean, just from your perspective, well, for him, the adjustment to a new system, what you guys are going through as a group, how can he go to be to playing that abrasive, assertive game that really made him your your guys' choice when you went out in free agency to grab somebody? Yeah, I think he's he's going through a process of uh, even coming in on a bigger contract and different expectations and different role. Um, and and I think he's feeling some pressure that might not be there as well. He doesn't look like himself. Uh, at times he looks out of rhythm um, just in his in his reads, um, you know, uh, just a hockey read, um, not anything systematic at all, but just a hockey read. So um, he's, he's, you know, he's a guy I've known for a long time, and uh, he, he's certainly – uh, being challenged, I think his biggest challenge is his confidence day to day, uh, with respect to, to where he's at right now. As a coaching staff, what's the challenge been to with the defense pairs when you have a couple of guys adjusting to a new team? You've got a you know Owen Power still only 21 years old and he's still learning in certain situations. So what's it been like to try to to piece together three pairs that have chemistry and, and obviously can play off each other's strengths. Yeah, it, I mean, obviously, uh, we're in a challenging uh, stretch here. And, and, and I think, you know, you mentioned Owen. I think it's his second year coming in. You have some, some real good hindsight. Um, you come into a year and you, 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 um, you know, a sophomore year, second years are tough for varying reasons. And I think he's been... He's been challenged uh, with different things. Uh, one being his confidence and bringing it, being able to, to compete at the level he wants to, uh, the standard he wants to every night. Um, so there's been moments where where he you know he's hasn't handled the puck as well or as smooth as he you know he he does customarily. Um, so you know that will obviously complicate your game. Um, the pairs uh, you, you know as. Um, Darlene's minutes, uh, obviously Darlene being our top guy, you're going you're gonna to get him out in situations. And you're going to have to play games differently if you're down than if you're up. It kind of breaks a rhythm sometimes. And um, it, the unfortunate obvious is we've been in that situation too many times. Um, so, you know, when that happens, you, you, your game plan within a game is shifting. And uh, your pairs may shift at that point too. Samuelson just doesn't seem like himself right now. <clears throat> Is he playing injured at, at all, or he just doesn't seem like himself? Yeah, no, I think he's um, he's not he's hasn't looked like himself to me as well. Um, it's just something he's got to fight through um, to get to get to where he needs to be. But so. he's okay. He's not. He's good. He's good. The turnover situation. That's. I mean, he's still killing plays, but the turnovers are what's striking me with him. I mean, is that just a case of? Sometimes guys get in their own heads when they have the puck. And they're this is new territory for a lot of guys. Um, you know, greater expectations, greater demand, and, and um, sometimes that that uh, can can mess you up a little bit. The psyche, um, you feel pressure that's really not there, <laughs> but you you feel it, um, and it, it it interferes with uh, your reads. Your the simple things that you could do, um, it interferes with you and. Uh, obviously, um, the short of it is you get in your own head, and um, you know we've talked about the handful of guys where that that their their biggest battle is is you know within themselves, and um, you know being themselves more on a more consistent basis. Uh, where you would see that in the team is overall a little bit of hesitation, which manifests in you need to work harder, you need to be more aggressive, more assertive, you get more. You can you can be more physical when you're more assertive, and, and and we've seen us even just reviewing film game to game. There are moments of hesitation where we give time and space, and then once you give time and space, you may have to cover the entire rink when you could have just covered five feet by not backing. And you 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 gauge you you go halfway, it's no good. And sometimes you go halfway and you lose. Well, maybe I shouldn't do that, or I fear what might happen if I don't make this this play and you're now putting four other guys in jeopardy and we've had a bit of that you talk about being assertive and i look at this 
may not be the greatest time to be playing in Boston, but you've lost 20 of the last 22 against them. You've got killed three times in a row against them since the New Year's Eve game. What can you do against this club to kind of establish something? Because if you can't be competitive with the top team in your division, you're just never going to go anywhere. We need to – a big part of winning – is understanding the process of the game, just the simple process of the game. Um, consistent movement up and down the ice as far as win your shift, put pucks in, uh, pressure pucks, get a shot where you can get a shot, as opposed to trying to flat out score a goal or make a perfect play or look for the ideal play. Uh, just simple and direct and hard is a, it, it would be would be the messaging in that. Um, you. You know that you need to do that against a team that we play tomorrow and the building that we play tomorrow, and you need to hit the repeat button on it, and you need to be comfortable that that's you, this is something you have to repeat. It's not anything bigger or anything more grand. It's just the simple, hard, and direct over and over again. And, um, you know, these challenges, the players know what you've said. As far as I don't know that they know the statistics, but they know the demand when you hop on the ice in that building. And um, that is a can be a galvanizing thing, and we need it to be that, obviously. Yeah, I think Boston's one of those teams where they, they accept the 50-50 shift more, and you guys have to accept some of those more too. Absolutely. Um, I would say I don't even want to say them. I, I'll just say we do. We do. You know, I don't even want to talk about an, another team in that respect. Um, you, you know, there's – Winning is a process, and we need to learn. We need to get more consistent with that process of uh, shift in and shift out, being more simple, direct, and hard. Not, not one of the three or two of the three. You need all of the three. Um, and again, repeat. That's what the best, the best, and most successful teams do. Obviously, things happen. Uko is sick. You can't do anything about that. But when it comes to calling up Devin. <clears throat> Even he said, you know, he just didn't expect it to happen this quickly. Is there any concern about interrupting kind of what you sent him to Rochester for, which is to insulate and establish a rhythm in his own bubble? Well, we, we sent him there, and we talked about how much practice time they have and, and, and um, you know, to get into a rhythm. Obviously, we, were, we had three at the time. Um, so now he's back. It's different circumstances. We don't have Upi. Um, we don't have three right now until Upi's recovered. Uh, but this is part of... The unknown in having to deal with the unknown better every day is part of, you know, advancement in players' career. Uh, you know, adapting right away to a challenge that's unforeseen or unpredictable, and uh, that's what he—that's what he was in when he got the call yesterday when Nupi came in and um, was a no-go. Really had a nice game like that in the last game. Is it just, you know, he, did it seem like he finally got used to the speed of the National Hockey League and everything, and it, it allowed him maybe to get to his game and play better? We, we felt the same way, Paul, as coaches. He looked much better. He looked more assertive, uh, confident in being more direct, uh, and, and by virtue of that, played harder in those areas. And, and so, yes, he, he had his best game, I felt, uh, last, last night. And, you know, he's, he's an intelligent guy. He's a hard guy, hard, hard worker and a competitor. And... You know, we need him, uh, as we do each guy, to step up, be, be their best. And um, I like the direction he showed us uh, a big jump last night. Is that the biggest obstacle for a new guy coming up that young is just getting used to the speed? you got to make plays faster and those types of things. And it is speed and strength, speed, strength, uh, intelligence. I mean, you can tell a... You can tell a defenseman how um, how fast a certain player is on another team, or how smart a certain player is, and you can show them all the film you want. But until they get out on the ice and, and gain that experience, um, they don't have any hindsight. So, uh, yes, it, 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 you, you 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 know you need the actual experience, and uh, uh, but you got to engage in it hard. And I think he's he has shown us each game he's doing that better. He's he's engaging more and harder. Um, we know he's a, he's a quiet guy, but he's a, he also has some competitiveness to him, and uh, we've pushed him to, to, to see more of that. Go ahead. Just what, what do you think of Tage in his first game back? Um, he, you know, he wasn't gone that long, but it was long enough where there could be some rust and so forth. Yeah, there, there's, um, you know, he, he, 
he's a competitor. We needed that lineup. We needed a guy that, you know, he had a guy that's, that competes the way he does. Uh, he only had a morning skate. He didn't have a practice, so, uh, but he didn't want to sit out. Um, he wanted to get in there, and I thought he was, you know, I thought he was effective for us uh, and helped us quite a bit with, you know, some drive. Um, so I think it's going to take him, a, you know, every player that comes off that and this to deal with he's dealing with is, He's got to adjust his game a little bit to, to, to where his body's at right now. Talk about players dealing with the pressure of expectations. I'm curious how you and your staff have kind of dealt with that or felt that at all. Well, you, I mean, you're you're in this position. You feel pressure every day. From day one, you take a job like this. You're you're you you, you feel pressure, and um, you, you know it's it's there. But you 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 look at it every day to figure out where you're at in relation to your competitor uh you prepare your team you prepare each individual uh you you have a process that you you keep going through and then you review that process frequently too you bounce it off um you, you know uh, other people within our organization um so the process is still still the same uh and we're still you know under different circumstances you're saying okay the circumstances are this what what can we you know, what should we be targeting in this situation? And, you know, today um, was obviously every day is a little bit different than the next based on information. Um, you know, if I'm going to tell you part of the process today, it's, it's again, it's we, we need to find ways to play and bring in front of our players how to play more aggressive and how they're not situations that they may not recognize that they're not aggressive. Um, but it's getting toward how we want to play. And you, you see it in spurts of a game. We can't hit that, as I said to Mike, that repeat button. Uh, so for us, that's kind of the, the, the process every day. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the pressure's there all the time, um, which um, it's not going to go away. The, 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 more you, the, the better you get, the more that's going to be there. It's just part of it.